Look at that hair. Unbelievable. My phone's been acting wonky, so uh, we might get cut off in the middle here. But is there really even a middle? So I think that um, one of the reasons I've been uninspired, relatively uninspired as of late, to share stuff on YouTube is because um, I see the large degree of futility um, to the platform in terms of the, of the advice I, I like to share. Um, and at the same time, because so few people seemingly do share the kind of advice that um, that I put out there on the platform, I feel like I should keep on doing it. So there's been a little bit of this you know, push and pull in regards to that. Um, and that, that's a personal thing. I mean, but, but there's a larger point there that I think is worth touching upon. That's why I'm making this video here. And it ties into, to let me remind you one more time, the Law of Attraction Simplified is finally available as an audiobook on Audible and elsewhere. I'll put the link above, or I'll put the link below if you haven't listened to that book or read it yet. But, um, the law of attraction simplified is actually the reason that this this whole thing started getting put to my attention. Um, I wrote, I published the law of attraction simplified back in I think like August of 2021, so like uh, over a year and a half ago. And before then, um, I just really wasn't involved with the social media aspect of a lot of these manifesting concepts, like basically at all. I just did my own thing. And the only, you know, way that I was like made aware of like what was going on in social media is when people would email me or I'd have clients who would mention something online or like watch this video or like, you know, like there'd be like a couple podcasts that I would check out that would talk about manifesting concepts for, you know, um, I think I actually found Joseph Rodriguez first via like his YouTube channel also as a podcast, for instance, you know, but I just, I wasn't interested in the social media aspect at all. And I really wasn't aware of like, um, like the SP scene, like how crazy it was, like how popular it was. Um, I wasn't aware of how Neville was picking up steam, you know, I mean, I would occasionally back then go on like the Neville Reddit or something like that, um, to see what was going on. But like, I just had no idea and I didn't want to have any idea, you know, it didn't interest me. Um, because I had a lot that I could say about these subjects, a lot of which I said in the law of attraction simplified. And, um, you know, I had work with clients I could do that was extremely gratifying for the client and for myself that didn't involve any social media stuff, not talking about like what I saw on YouTube or whatever. But it so happened that, you know, it just seemed like I was talking to more people, whether it be clients or people who were just emailing me who were like, oh, do you see this video on YouTube? This person is doing this. And, you know, I started doing my podcast, um, which I wouldn't say is exactly social media, but it's similar to social media. And so I was trying to drum up interest in my podcast. And so I, I became more aware of, of, the, of the manifesting law of assumption, law of attraction scene over the last 18 months or so. Um, again, this might seem long-winded, but this relates to you, not me, what I'm about to say. Okay, this is a big picture thing. Um, and so what's happened to me in the last year and a half, basically, since I published a law of attraction simplified. And that book was written with the intention of simplifying, you know, this very muddled, uh, manifesting process that we hear about these days, um, into a more practical form. Since I published that book, I've become much more aware of, of this scene. And, um, I've become a lot more disgusted and disillusioned by it. And I already was, I was wise enough to be disillusioned, but not to bother with it up until like the last year and a half. And now I've bothered with it, right? And 
um, I'm sharing this because I think I've probably seen based upon my experiences with this stuff and then sharing this information over the years. Cause like I've shared these manifesting ideas via books for like, you know, almost a decade now. And I've interacted with a fair amount of people in that period of time because of, of sharing this information. Right. Um, what's not apparent, I think to most people, unless you, um, go deep with like looking at these, at how it's presented these days and have some experience looking at how stuff, how the manifesting ideas are presented to the public, right. To us on YouTube and Reddit and elsewhere, everywhere, basically, um, is just how, um, it's just, it's how superficial and bad it is. And, uh, you know, we've mentioned it before. I know Maggie's talked about this before. Like there's this large degree of like mental illness involved, I would say, (laughs) excuse me, with people who get into these ideas a lot of the time, people who have legitimately need, you know, therapy, psychiatry, and not just, not just want therapy, but need therapy, need medication, have medical issues mentally um and the whole scene is is colored and dominated by this sick aspect this now i say sick some people might not say it's sick but i would say it's fanatical fanatical aspect that is mainstream manifesting advice these days is fanatical and uh utterly stupid has almost nothing to do with, um, you know, the great advice that we hear from, from the old teachers like Neville, Joseph Murphy, or even really like, you know, the best teachings of, of someone like Abraham Hicks. It's so colored by this superficial, fanatical, square, very square, conformist thinking, um, That it, it, again, it's like, for me, I'm like, I mean, I put my arms up and I'm like, why is it even worth talking about this stuff on a platform like YouTube? Like I can just write books and work with clients individually and, or do a podcast episode where like, I'm not talking to anybody and it's just, it's just out there. And the people who are sane enough to find it will find it, you know? And at the same time, I want to reach as many people as I can with this sane presentation of these ideas. And I don't think most people watching this video realize the degree of the insane presentation of of these ideas that are out there. I'm not confrontational or trying to stir the pot when I say this. this. These are just observations I've made over the last year and a half. And um, a reason of many that I can say this, because we will read a quote today if my phone doesn't die. A reason of many I can say this and how um, perverted these ideas have become, like Neville's ideas, how, how just they've totally been watered down and just been, um, I think the word Maggie used is bastardized. That's good. That's a good way of describing it, like bastardization of... LOA, LOA or law of assumption ideas or whatever you want to call it. Um, a big reason that I know of how bad it, the scene is is because nobody talks about Emil Kuwe, pretty much. I'm virtually the only person I know of, at least speaking in English in the United States. I know Kuwe is a little bit bigger in France. I'm pretty much the only person I know of who, who talks about these manifesting concepts that mentions Kuwe with any consistency. Um which is totally fucking stupid <laughs> and insane. Crazy. Crazy. Um, because if you don't understand the simple um, clarity and goodness and brilliance and effectiveness of what Kuei is saying, and I'm not talking about his technique, I'm talking about his explanation of why these principles work. If you don't see that, 
And if, if people aren't talking about that, talking about what Kuwait is talking about, and instead are talking about all these other ridiculous esoteric concepts instead of Kuwait, it's as good an indicator as any as far as I'm concerned that people aren't, aren't being serious about this stuff. You know, they're fanatical, they're in their head about it, but what are they doing living it, living it, doing their best to live it, you know, and being humbled by having difficulty living it or being gratified by living it and feeling more fulfilled by doing it and just going through the process and being there moment to moment and embracing it all one way or the other. Um, if not all of this manifesting stuff, at least 90% of it theoretically comes back to Kuwait of the last 100 years or so. Just the theory behind it. Not all of it, you could say, but the vast majority of it. The fact that he's not spoken about more is, is completely crazy to me. I'm going to read something today from Self Mastery Through Conscious Auto-Suggestion. He says, make up your mind that you are going to obtain certain results and you will find the ways and means. That is the apparently strange part of it. That, folks, is basically the law of attraction. Law of assumption manifesting for you. That one sentence. And there's no spiritual mumbo-jumbo. He just says, make up your mind that you are going to obtain certain results and you will find the ways and means. That is the apparently strange part of it. The question, of course, then becomes, how do you make up your mind? How do you make up your mind that you're going to obtain a certain desired result? How do you do that? It's not always as easy as they say, oh, just do this technique. How do you actually make up your mind to decide you're going to do a certain thing? Because if you decide you're going to do a certain thing, you're going to do it. It's going to happen. At least if it's at all within the realms of nature, as Kuwe says. You'll find the ways and means to do it if you make up your mind. But how do you make up your mind? This is why this channel exists, to explore ideas like this. And see how simple and straightforward that is? And Kuwe says, he doesn't go off with any bizarre theory. He says, this is just the apparently strange thing, is that you make up your mind and then it's, it's going to happen if you make up your mind. He says, it's very strange, but that's how it happens. He doesn't say, oh, this is because of, you know, the 4D and 3D or the vibration rises. And he doesn't make up all this fucking bullshit, quite frankly. He says, that's the apparently strange thing. I don't know why, but this is how it is. And it's always been this way. I hope you grasp a little bit of what I'm saying. The subtlety, the nuance of what I'm saying here. And what I try to convey in, in these YouTube videos. Um, because it's not like most YouTube channels talking about these ideas. Um, and I don't say that because I'm good. I'm saying that because I can see things clearly enough to, to know that the wool is being pulled over your eyes most of the time when it comes to this stuff. And it's much more important to recognize that than to try to attain anything through some bizarre technique. Make up your mind that you are going to obtain certain results and you will find the ways and means. That's the apparently strange part of it. 